Hello guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Adrian here from Epsip. So in this video, short video, I will say a few words about the latest features of uh, Django Vault dashboard, which is a popular open source seed project uh, provided by us. The product now supports um, social authentication uh, using GitHub, but the feature uh, can be extended with ease for other <laughs> providers like Google or Twitter. In order to to use the the registration, you just need to, to be authenticated with your uh, GitHub account uh, and click on this uh, icon. Once you authorize the authentication, you are redirected to the to the app, and uh, you are basically your account is basically created. In my case, uh, I can see my social ID is listed here, Absolute Projects, and uh, um, for uh, social authentication accounts, you need to provide an email in order to associate your uh, social ID with uh, with an email. Of course, the um, uh, the classic uh, user password is also working. So, in case anyone has the time, can create his own uh, his own user here. Let's create another one. I hope it's free. Okay. Okay, so the passwords are not the same, no problem. Okay, so the account was created. Okay, so we are in and uh, you can see that the, the field is uh, read only now. The email is read only. Another another evolutions uh, provided in this uh, in this release. Uh, Docker support is now improved and uh, minor improvements uh, regarding the authentication pages to to looks better. Let's uh, access the uh, public repository and uh, check out the product and see how it goes the uh, local usage using the docker setup i will access my my terminal clone the project and uh, follow up the instructions as provided as provided in the readme file basically once you you have the source code you just need to uh, run the docker composer up minus minus build which will uh, expose the, um, the application on this uh, on this local address. So we are in. Okay, I will paste the command from from Project Readme, and now the um, Docker will uh, set up the application for us. Basically, download the modules, set up the database, migrate the tables, and um, start the application using Unicorn. At the end, we should see if all uh, works as expected. We should see some successful uh, messages in, in the terminal, and uh, we are good to go to to access the application in the browser. So now the application is uh, is up and running. We can see that. Uh, the UI sends some uh, some messages to, to the backend. Let's create a new user. Perfect. Now we are in and uh, application works super super nice so guys thanks for watching let us know what you think about the product uh, in case you have issues we are uh, 24 7 on, on um, discord and also we are replying to all the emails let us know what you think and what uh, new features uh, we should add it to to this uh, amazing design thanks for watching and i wish you all as always a super super day bye guys